Behind me sits the pride and joy of Yamaha's soundbar lineup, the YSP5600. Technically one of Yamaha's sound projectors, the unit has over 40 drivers inside, designed to bounce the sound off the walls around you to create convincing virtual surround sound. But the real prize here are the 12 height speakers that allow it to use DTSX and Dolby Atmos technology for a massive hemispheric globe of sound that encompasses you completely. However, at $1,600 without a subwoofer, is it worth the cost? The first thing you'll notice about this bad boy is the height. At over eight inches tall, this thing will easily cover up a lot of real estate at the bottom of your TV screen unless one or two of them are mounted. And that's a key point because where you put the soundbar has a lot to do with how well that virtual surround sound works. For instance, this setup right here is gonna cause some blocking and you won't get the full potential of that virtual surround sound. Inside this chassis are 44 individual beam drivers, each one just over an inch in diameter, including 32 at the front. There's also a pair of 4.5 inch woofers for the low end. However, to get the full cinematic effect, you will have to add a standalone subwoofer, such as the SW300 we've shown here. As you can see, there's onboard controls at the top of the unit here. There's also a small LCD display down here for your source input and other information. There's also a full on-screen display where you can go deep into all the settings. And plus, the style will make any Atari 2600 fan very happy. One thing that's nice when you pay this much for a soundbar is you get a full-size remote in the package, which we really like. You've got all your inputs up here. You've got volume and sub control here. Then you've got your DSP down here that allows you to put some effects on the uh, sound coming out there. Your basic 3D surround, 5.1 surround, stereo. All that stuff right at your fingertips, easy to use, big buttons, we like that. As you can see, there's no lack of inputs on the back of the bar, allowing it to basically stand in as your AV receiver. You've got four HDMI inputs here, including one with HDCP 2.2. You've got an ARC HDMI output here, and the bar is set up for 4K pass-through as well. You've got your aux uh, analog RCA in, a coax digital input, two optical digital inputs. You've got a subwoofer out there, and then you've got your IR in and IR out. And there's also an ethernet connection here. In addition, the soundbar comes with Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi wireless connection. In fact, as part of Yamaha's Music Cast collection, the YSP5600 can be integrated into a full home multi-room sound solution, connecting wirelessly to multiple Yamaha components and speakers like the WX030. As I touched on earlier, just how well the YSP5600 will perform depends a lot upon the placement in your home theater room. Yamaha has very specific directions, including providing a clear path for the drivers, having walls on both sides, etc. But let's face it, most of us can't and don't want to rearrange our entire living room for a soundbar. It kind of takes the convenience factor out of the equation. Luckily, we found that trying to clear some space on both sides and raising the bar to around 32 to 36 inches makes a big difference in performance. Once we did that, we were treated to some very impressive virtual surround, especially when it comes to the height dimension. In one clip from Ridley Scott's Exodus, for instance, hail rained down from overhead, lightning and thunder crashed from all around us, and the overall power of the bar was put on display in full force. It's important to note that what you'll pay for the YSP5600, plus the subwoofer and the mounting kit, which doesn't come standard, starts right in the line to what you'll pay for a full Dolby Atmos DTSX component system. Still, if you're looking for the full package in one succinct unit, this is the way to go, and it does offer some really impressive cinematic sound for the money.